friends welcome to the video lecture of biology chapter 6 that is life process in this chapter you will get the basic concept of different types of life processes occurring in living organism though it is very difficult to define life and living beings but we can say that life is cell based self regulated complex system of molecules where chemical reaction are going on all the time now what are the different characteristics of a living things or what are the various characteristics of life as you can see on the slide there are seven basic characteristics of life which are given by the acronym mrs green they are movement metabolism respiration sensitivity growth reproduction excretion and nutrition now the most and the important of these characteristics of movement which is of two type it is visible that is change in position or any of the body parts and it can be invisible that can occur at level of molecules both these visible and invisible movement are the deciding factor whether something is alive or not thus we can say the most important criteria to decide whether something is alive is movement now next we will be dealing with the definition of life process here you can see life processes are those activities and functions of living beings which are essential for maintenance and survival of life on this earth so these are all the basic functions which are similar in all organism so we can say that life process occurs in both unicellular and multicellular life forms now we see how these life processes are interrelated to each other first you see nutrition so nutrition how we obtain food next is respiration where every living beings requires energy for working out the body machinery so for that most of the organism uses uh, oxygen and for this the process is known as respiration then that oxygen has to be transported to each and every cell so therefore a mechanism of transportation is found which bring brings the all the nutrients and other material required by the cells then there is excretion that is a number of waste products are formed as a by product of any of the metabolic activities and they have to be removed from the body so the process of the removal of waste product from the body is known as the excretion now the means of transportation of the material and the oxygen in unicellular and multicellular organisms are different how we will see in unicellular organism there is no specific cellular organelles or any specific functions uh, performed by any a single cell but in multicellular organism we see there are clear cut division of labor that means mitochondria or cytoplasm or golgi bodies are specialized in their specific function but in unicellular there is a single cell which is always in contact with the outside environment okay so there is no uh, division of labor because there is no specific uh, cell organelles and the outer surface which is in contact with the environment what is does thus a simple mechanism of transportation is required which is diffusion a simple mechanism but it can't be the only means of transportation okay for the oxygen or the materials in multicellular there can be any other specialized mechanism for the transportation of the material from one cell to another why because as the complexity increases the metabolic activity also increases and hence all the multicellular organism have specialized exchange system hence we can say that diffusion is a successful process of obtaining oxygen by unicellular organism like amoeba however it cannot meet the requirement of multicellular organism because in them every cell is not exposed to oxygen containing environment okay and in order to pass from one part of the body to the other part of the body diffusion by the diffusion it has to cross to 
whole of the billions of cells and it is estimated that in multicellular it will take long long time that means it can take three years for the oxygen to reach from the from the head to the toe only through diffusion hence it is a very important question that why diffusion is insufficient to meet the oxygen requirement therefore in multicellular organism they have a specialized transport system which takes oxygen to the surroundings of the individual cells within a span of some minutes now next we will be dealing with the nutrition okay this how we obtain food how the process of intake of nutrients and it utilization because energy is needed to maintain a state of order in our body and that energy we get from food we eat it is a general requirement for energy and the material which is common in all the organism so let's take up the nutrition definition it is written here it is a process of intake of nutrients and utilizing it to provide energy for, for performing various metabolic activities of organism a process we can also say a process of obtaining and utilization of food for meeting various requirements of living beings now what are the nutrients nutrients are different components we can say they are the different components of food with various functions okay now this nut nutrition derived from the word nutri which means to nourish hence we can say that it is a process of obtaining and utilization of food for meeting any of the requirements nutrients any component of the food we can take that is carbohydrates proteins minerals okay now what is food when we are talking about food then it is a source of 